What's good, YouTube? It's Ray Drill. So, in today's video, I want to show you guys the only offense you'll need in current gen Madden 24. So, if you enjoyed this video, go and drop a like on the video right now. Go ahead and sub and turn on post notifications on. So, I am in the Bucks offensive playbook. Again, I'm in the Bucks offensive playbook. Now, if you're curious about any ebooks whatsoever, please visit my website, allthingsmadden.com. The link to that is in the description. And one last thing, if you guys want me to make you a custom formation for an ebook, like let's say you look through my website and you don't see an ebook that you want, literally all you have to do is just send me a, a request form. You'll see that on the website. You just shoot me a message on there and then I'll be able to make it for you and then I'll be able to upload it straight to your account. So if you're interested in that, make sure you look on the website. So without further ado, man, I had to show love to my current gen. If you are rocking with me on current gen, I truly appreciate you. Now, if you're on next gen, don't worry. I got y'all more videos, but I like to do current gen as well. So I like to try to cater to both of y'all. So anyways, it's going to dive right into this. So as far as audibles, in case I forget to move my face cam for the gameplay, because y'all have been on me about my face cam. So I'm probably going to remember, but in case I forget again, um, this is how I like to do my audibles. I like to have Bucks Flood. I like to have Bucks post trail and I like to have quick slot out. Now, what we're going to come out in is going to be this Bucks corner. So, this uh, the reason I like this playbook is because you're going to be able to bomb a lot of coverages with just this play. But this play, this formation is extremely glitchy. I wouldn't lie to y'all. It's one of my favorite formations to run. So, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about just the base uh, coverages that you're going to see, which is going to be your typical. You're either going to see cover four drop, you're going to see cover three, you're going to see cover two, you're going to see man coverage, and you're going to see man blitz. It's just it's the game we play today. That's just what you're going to see. You don't really see too much match coverage anymore. And even if you do see match, this offense is going to destroy match coverage. So I'm going to just start with the ball in the middle because it is a spread style formation just because you're typically going to be in the middle of the field when you call this. Now, um, I want to actually go over the bomb first. So there's this Bucks post trail play. And also, I do have gameplay. It's about 10 minutes worth of gameplay. So I'm going to try to fly through these setups just so you guys can get the gameplay. Now, my favorite setup to be able to bomb cover three, I like to actually just take triangle. You want to motion them across. Now, this is where it's up to you at, okay? Uh, but first, you want to take circle. You want to put him on a, a curl route. Now, the next two adjustments are completely up to you. So either if you want to go strictly for the bomb, you can take square, put them on a comeback route. Now, if you want to kind of have a little nice beater where you can beat zone, you can take square and put them on the in route. So again, either one that you want is fine. So I'm going to put him right here on the comeback now. So I don't have to run this setup four or five times. You guys are going to see in gameplay me bomb this coverage for a one play touchdown. So don't worry about that, okay? For now, I'm just going to spy these people so I don't have to run this play four or five times because of bad blocking. So anyways, this is a setup that will destroy cover three for a one play touchdown. All you need is a little bit of time and he's going to be able to run away. And you're going to get that nice little pocket right there for the nice one play touchdown. Now, I know right there you're like, real, they was right there, okay? Cool. So, there's two setups that I like with this. So, that one right there is really effective. It's better in game than it is in practice mode. Uh, you're going to see me run this same exact setup in game, and where you're going to see, you know, how we split the safety for a one play touchdown. So, anyways, you, you get the idea of why. Um, now, there's another setup I like that's actually going to hold this free safety. So, notice we don't have anything holding this free safety. So, he's, he's able to play this because I don't have no pull route for him. So, I have have a setup I'm about to give you right now that has a pull route set up to it so don't worry about it but you get the idea basically uh, you're gonna hit this little seam right here um it does require you to step up and just make a great throw but uh, we got a terrible throw look at that ball wobble but anyways um, I'm gonna show you kind of a better setup with that we're gonna use the same play on um, this Bucks post trail we're going to take him we're still gonna motion him but instead of leaving him on this little dig right on this little route right here we're actually going to take them and put them on a streak. But first, I want to show you something. So why even leave them on this route is what I want you to see. So in case the bomb isn't open, this right here is going to be open just about every single time. Because what's going to happen is your user is going to be expecting you to hit a dot up in here because of the scheme that you're going to see in gameplay. And um, worst case scenario, you could throw that, yes. But also, uh, this flat route is going to get open simply because of this curl. And this route right here is going to hold that um, outside. So you're able to throw this quick if you need to. So don't be afraid of that and you also have this read if their user is not there and or if they're playing a zone drop with this guy he'll be somewhere up in here if they're playing zone drop or he'll be down here if they zone drop him at like zero or five so this is a great great read to throw right there all right so 
anyway, first setup, you want to take triangle, put him on a streak, and you want to take square. I like to either put him on an in route or put him on a comeback route. It depends. Um, circle's still going to be on our curl. So I like this setup or this setup. Both of them will do the same thing, but I just personally like to have the comeback route. And again, you do not need to spy. You don't need a lot of time in the pocket. I'm just spying those so I don't have to run this play a lot in practice mode. So anyways, that's what I was trying to show you is that uh, I know it's looking like it's hard to get open, but you also can throw the ball earlier. And you're going to see in game that it, it works better in game, to be honest with you. Um, that's how I came up with this setup. I was playing around. And you're going to see the exact gameplay that I'm talking about here in a couple seconds. But anyways, the reason this works is because this right here. So uh, in Madden 24, even on current gen, the thirds are taught to drive on comeback routes. So that's why we need him to pause for half a second. And normally, uh, now I could have threw this ball right now also. So it could be I'm just throwing it late. But uh, you get the idea. Notice how I could throw this ball literally right now. And I could throw him open over here. So as long as you get a good animation to throw him open, you're fine. Notice how I didn't get the animation I wanted. And he was able to make a play on it. So that's why, you you know, if you want to hold the ball a little longer, you'll be good. So I love that play right there. So you also can bomb cover three a different way. You can use this um, quick slot out. And you can take X, put him on a streak. And then you can take square, put him on a comeback, triangle on the end route. And this way it does bomb cover three is just not the best because you're going to need time in a pocket to bomb it with this way. So if you notice, you'll be able to kind of outrun him and just throw him open. And at that point, it's really just a speed, you know, like a foot race. But you definitely can bomb cover three uh, using this setup. And it works very well. And I believe you could bomb cover four drop with this setup as well. Uh, but I prefer it most versus cover three just because we're going to have the you're going to have to outrun that safety, which as long as you have time in the pocket, that won't be a problem at all. Now, Bucks flood. I love this play versus cover two. We can just destroy cover two with the one play touchdown. Um, I'm trying to hurry up because I don't want this to be, you know, about a 25 minute video. So a lot of this, you're just going to have to see yourself. So what I, one thing I like to do is take X, put them on an in route, smart route it. And then um, I take triangle, put him on a streak. And what that's going to do is going to hold that safety. We're literally just going to force this ball to be open, if that makes sense. So it's just it's just going to have no choice but to get the nice little seam right there. And personally, I like that setup a lot more um, as we'll be able to dot underneath if we need to. So basically, um, this route right here is going to be able to do good if we're able to throw it early. If not, uh, we're basically reading between the user if he's going to be on his vertical hook then we're either going to throw this dig route or we're going to throw this route right here. And at the same time, if we let it clear, we'll be able to have this nice little dot up in the middle simply because this streak is going to force that safety in the half to go back and cover that. So it just has no choice but to get open, basically. So really, really love that for cover two. Um, now, you also can bomb cover two from the uh, slot seams play. Uh, it's a natural cover two beater, which I'll go ahead and show you that one. Um, it's just... Let me see. I want to spot some people because I don't want to have to worry about getting hollered at. But it's literally a natural cover two beater for a one play touchdown. All you need is time in the pocket with this one. So, And it all depends on how they're pressing your guy. Uh, all of that matters. But you'll see what I'm talking about here in a second when I say it literally just matters on if they're pressing your guy or not. So here, let me go ahead and show you. Now, notice right here they are have zone chucks. And with cover two with zone chucks, they're going to chuck them outside, which means it's going to take a little while to get open. Now, if they're playing zone drops, they're not going to press them. So he's going to be able to get immediately into his route, and then it's going to be open a lot faster. So really, really love that one. Now, for man coverage, uh, there's a lot of things you can do. Um, I really, really love this play right here, this uh, Bucks Flood. Not Bucks Flood. Uh, I forget the name of it, but the one we came out in, Bucks Corner. So really, really love this X route. It's great versus man coverage. And also, uh, there are a couple things you can do with this. So if you're on um, next gen, you also can do this setup. I don't do it much, but this route is going to be good. And also this zig route and also this corner route can be good for beat man coverage. As long as I get time in the pocket, as you can tell, if you have a good route runner, I would put him there. So whoever your best mid route runner is, I will put him there for that particular setup if you're dealing with man coverage. So with this setup, you're literally just going to read from uh, bottom to top. So notice the zig route. If it gets open, throw it. If it's not open, don't throw it. <laughs> so normally when you run this play, your user is normally going to be up in here. They're normally going to use this part right here. And they're going to try kind of trail this. And a lot of times you're looking to hit this. So this should be your number one receiver who's running this particular corner route. And you most of them in. Side, so that way we can actually get a better separation when he makes his cut and we have more room to throw his ball on the sideline so that's just kind of why i like that setup now there's another general setup i love too we're just gonna take square put him on a streak 
triangle on a slant, circle on a drag, and this setup right here is going to beat every single coverage in the game, literally. But um, let's talk about man blitz for half a second. So if you're dealing with man blitz, because we are in a formation where we can only block six people, we're just not going to have enough time if they send seven. So you just have to make sure you have your man beaters uh, ready. So if somebody's man blitzing you a lot, I like to take triangle, put them on a zig, and then I'll take circle right here, and I'll put him on a zig. And sometimes if you can motion them and snap them, you can't, it's good. Uh, but if they don't let you, that's completely fine. Um, if they don't, I like to just take circle, put them on a slant. So like I said, sometimes they will let you, sometimes they don't. But if they don't, don't worry. I love this setup right here versus the quick blitz because what happened is your first read is going to be between these two, and then you want to hit X as a last second, as a last ditch, you know, read basically. So you boom, throw it right there, and then a lot of times you'll be good. This requires you to be able to understand where the user is. So. I'm going to show you replay on this and it will hop straight into gameplay. So again, versus the blitz, a lot of times what will happen is the user is going to come here and try to hover and then they'll probably try to peel back a lot of times. So it's either you're going to throw this read hot right here where he's about right here or you're going to throw this read hot or you're going to be able to get a nice little win animation sometimes and you'll be able to boom, hit them quick on the sideline before the blitz gets there. So that's basically how you want to deal with this and I love this offense. It's really great. And let's go and take a look at some gameplay so you can see it better. All right, so as you guys can see, uh, this is the same gameplay as if you watched my defensive video on this for current gen. You're going to notice that it's the same opponent, and I told you guys I was going to show you the offensive versions of the games. So if you go back and watch the, uh, you know, the defensive one, you watch the offensive one, you're literally going to get the whole gameplay that I played that entire day, basically. So just make sure you guys uh, check it out, because like I said, I, I went 5-0, and I believe, when I just hopped on there. And I was playing around with this offense and the defense that you see me run. And this offense can be extremely crazy. So right here, uh, this is basically me testing. So I see one high safety. Normally, that's going to tell me it's cover three, especially because those cornerbacks are facing towards the quarterback. But he did go on motion. So this does tell me it's man coverage. So I still wanted to see if it was man coverage. Uh, I mean, uh, cover three just to see. But um, as you guys are going to be able to see, we was in cover three and I seen X, but unfortunately just ran out of time and we did fumble and lose the ball. So thankfully I did get the ball back. And like I said, this is that corners play. Um, It's just a really, really good corners play. So uh, I actually did decide to go with the other one where we're going to do the beater. Uh, Notice the same thing with this high safety. He played cover three last time and I wanted to see if I was going to be able to get time in the pocket because I just didn't think I would have it, but we were able to step up, didn't see who I wanted, didn't like it, so just decided just to take off. So that sometimes you, you guys have to make sure you are using that. So I did see man coverage across the board, and like I said, that little Bucks flood right there, that was the post route. That post route is money as long as that's a good receiver. That Bucks flood play is crazy. So uh, the audibles, in case I did forgot the movie, is Bucks corner. I like that one at the top. Um, and this setup right here will beat literally every single zone coverage in the game, but uh, it looks like he's in man coverage, little man blitz, just like I figured. So like I told you guys, that route right there is extremely good versus the man blitz. It's just, it's a natural man beating route. That's uh, Russell Gage. So it's not like it's just some, you know, top notch receiver that's running that route right there. So uh, I did like it that he was still staying in man coverage. Uh, if he were to go to zone, he'd have to, you know, it'd be some type of tell. And I figured he was going to stay in man coverage simply because that's just how people play on the game. Um, they don't understand that. Your opponent can tell what type of defense you're in most likely as long as you can look where they're lined up at so right here i just wanted to kind of give you some context into the game so we did end up getting a pick six right here oh well, i thought it was pick six <laughs> we didn't get the pick six but we got the interception right there so i was getting ready to actually you know continue to dominate on offense because my opponent was letting me but he did decide to take an early exit but it was a good game though for sure it was a good game so we actually did get matched up with him again um and you're kind of getting now to see the offensive side of the game and like i said this should look very similar to you guys who actually checked out the defensive video so this setup will like i told you guys it will bomb cover three um i did decide to put him on the in route just to kind of hold the user just in case but he tried to user rush me uh he did a good job of getting me out of the pocket but if you looked up field we did have enough time and i did see it but i just didn't have enough time to throw it so i wanted to kind of come back to it just to see if i can maybe you know maybe if i can get not lucky but if i could actually have time in a pocket to hit it so i see one high safety uh so it's either cover three or it's man coverage it just depends on what he's running so i send the motion over that also tells me he's in zone because nobody followed but he did baseline that's why the safety went up top but you can tell this uh it's still cover three just needed to be patient in the pocket and we were, were able to deliver the dot for the easy touchdown so right here again one high safety so that's telling me he's probably in cover three 
Um, it's either man coverage or cover three because all the DBs are faced towards their man. So it's probably man coverage. So I wanted to do a man beater as we thought it was man, but I probably should have held onto the ball a tiny bit longer. Now, right here, I see zone. This tells me zone because it is two high safeties, but there, uh, it could be two man under or it could be cover two or cover four drop. We just got to see, but I noticed the safety is parted away, so it is cover two. I seen the X right across the middle, but unfortunately, <laughs> uh, I got it on pressure and accurate, which, you know, can't really do nothing about. So right here, we're well, second and 10, and my opponent tried the user. We got the perfect user alert. I really wish uh, Madden 24 on uh, next gen was able to, you know, you could use it like that because I love using on current gen. I forgot how fun it was until I got back on current gen just kind of playing around. So thankfully, right here, my opponent did decide to take the exit. Uh, so we are going to go ahead and move forward, and we are matched up against uh, the John Bands. Now, this is the game I told you guys. Uh, if you've seen my defense one, I accidentally forgot to record the first half of it. I thought I was recording, but I wasn't until I went back and looked. But unfortunately, you know. I, I, I can't show you guys how I got 14 points. <laughs> but anyways, uh, this angles play is actually extremely good. I love to just take uh, my uh, two slots and put them on zigs if I feel like it's going to be a man blitz. And we got a little bailed right there. Not going to lie, but, you know, I'll take it. Uh, sometimes that just happens. It's, it's the game we play. But um, anyway, that angles play is extremely good. Right there, he tried to blitz me off the edge. Uh, so I figured the middle was open. I should have just held the ball a half a second longer. So right here, um, I did notice that that slant was going to get open. I could have hit the actually flat route, but I just decided to throw the slant. It's just Mike Evans, and I figured he'd get the win. And we just, you know... We assumed right, and that's why we was able to uh, move those chains. So, right here, uh, I'm looking at it. I'm kind of seeing what he's in. It looks like it could be man coverage or two high safeties, but they part ways. The middle is going to be open, so I'm going to just kind of throw it down there in the middle. So, as you guys can tell, I love to look at the safeties. Safeties are going to always tell you what they're doing, so I noticed they part ways. I should have just actually hit X, but I took the more complicated read, of course, and um, <laughs> still was able to get a touchdown right there. So, right here, I uh, don't know why he's testing the user like that. Um, that's just what's great about this defense that on current gen, that's why I say current gen was a lot of fun to play. It was really refreshing to kind of go back and get, you know, used to how current gen runs because I just, I don't stay on current gen that long. You know, when I hop on current gen, I'm just getting videos and I'm getting off. I don't really stay on it long. So it was pretty cool. So right here, we are matched up against our next opponent. And again, uh, I see one high safety, so that's telling me it's either cover three or man coverage. So either one, I'm fine. And it is going to be cover three, so I just need time in the pocket. And uh, as you guys can see, that safety can get there. But uh, if you guys noticed as well, I wasn't able to step up in the pocket. So stepping up a lot of times is going to be the difference with this play in touchdown versus, you know, SWAT. It's hardly ever going to be picked, to be real. Um, they just have to make an incredible play for it to be picked. But uh, this play right here is going to destroy every single zone coverage as well. That's actually the dig play. Uh, I forget what it's called, but um, it's with the corner out. You guys will see it if you go look at the playbook. All you want to do is take that outside guy, put him on a streak, the same side of the corner, and you're good. You literally beat every single coverage in the game. Now, right here, uh, I figured it was man coverage or cover three. We actually got it right with cover three. But that's the route I was telling you guys where... He kind of runs like the little out and then he sits and it's such a good route because a lot of times the user will be thinking he's running a post or inside breaking route, but he's actually going to be running a little dig route essentially is all it is. But well, it's essentially a curl pretty much, but this play right here works extremely great in the red zone. I kind of want to go over this one of these times for current gen, but I want to see if it's open for next gen too, because that throw right there is going to beat every coverage in the game, even man coverage. It's just a good throw. Uh, well, it's a good route, I should say. It's just a simple dig route, but it's a good route because it's in the red zone. It's right there. Our opponent is going to throw us the pick six, basically, and again, I can't stress how good this defense is on next gen, man. I mean, on current gen. That defense, uh, that 3-3 is good. So this is the play I was telling you, but all you do is take that guy and put him on a streak on the outside. You can take X and put him on a drag, and you just got the best setup that'll beat every single zone in the game. So notice I have triangle, but I also had circle. So triangle wasn't really open, but I could have threw circle if I was a little bit more patient or if I just chose the right person. So right here, uh, he's telling me when they're backing him off, he's either in zone or he's an all-out man blitz, but I'm figuring he's in zone, and he sure was. And as you're going to be able to see, if he's in zone, we're going to be able to throw that. And that's what I was trying to tell you guys, that that's the throw that you can make. It just depends. EA gives you, but it definitely does beat cover three. So don't be scared to throw that ball. Uh, I know in practice mode, you were like, real, you wasn't throwing it, you know, complete, you wasn't complete. It. But that's just prime example of why practice mode isn't always extremely accurate. Uh, it all depends on how they play in game. I don't know why they make the game that way, but practice mode plays differently than actual game. So 
you can't go 100% off practice mode, sadly. But anyways, I love this setup right here, too. It's an extremely good setup. It's right there. We're going to have Mike Evans, and then we go, oh, you know what I'm saying? They went, oh, <laughs> you know, watch out. <laughs> oh, man, but yeah, get a little get a little sticky, man. I, I, we can still get sticky on current gen. I, I, I miss that on next gen, though. I wish you could do stuff like that still. But normally when I see this type of uh, formation that your opponent comes out in, it really just means they don't really want to play no more. So I'm just kind of trying to just get this game over with. Anytime I see somebody come out man up three deep or any type of quarters coverage, it just means they're not really they're not trying to play no more. They just want to get out the game. So right there, like I said, uh, you run this offense enough. It's just it's too much going on. There's too much you could throw at somebody out of these spread formation. And it's very hard to blitz a spread offense. If the person knows what they're doing, it's extremely hard to blitz. Um, so it's just, it's just, you know, I really love this offense, man. Uh, what do you, I really wanted circle, just didn't have time, but I wanted to just get out of there. And I thought about, it, I said, you know what? Let me just go ahead and uh, run, you know, get out of bounds one second, take my field goal. I was hoping he was gonna be able to quit after this because when he gets to this score where you got thirty-eight to seven, it really just don't make sense to even, you know take it super super serious just because you know your opponent's ready to get out of there so it's right there we are going to get the pick and that's basically going to wrap it up for this video though i truly appreciate you guys for checking me out rocking with me i pray you have a blessed day i'm rage real and i'm out